Then we're going to move on to the voice tracking, PD link with Yamaha Sub and Dell as the demo. Then for this, for demands on meetings, there are a lot of people who like to focus on speaker and catch voice or auto switching tracking and with multi angle views. So basically, like traditional way, how to have a voice tracking. Now we will need a microphone to capture the voice and detect the voice. Then we will need a controller system to receive the position information and sends a like, commands to the camera. The camera receives the commands and will record the preset positions to capture the person who is speaking. The traditional way it was they need it needs like a, a hardware based system and with a complete complicated setup and high cost. And now we have the software based solution. The AVR PDZ link to replace the traditional control system. So all the customer need is uh, the microphone and also PDZ link with the computer or laptop and then one ever PDZ camera. That's it. And that's all. Then we will have this uh, more cost effective and flexible, easy to set up and use voice tracking system. Okay, so this is a diagram of the uh, integration of Yamaha and Aver. So here, they're all based on the PoE uh, network. So here we have like a switch with a PoE plus, and then we connect with the Yamaha RMCG microphone. And also uh, we have Yamaha RMC uh, signal processor. And also we have like Aver cameras, connected to the switch. Okay, then with like a PoE plus power supply. And then we have a laptop installed with a Aver PDZ link software and also Microsoft Teams. We have a conferencing and with the voice tracking purpose. And then our cameras connect to the laptop with the USB connection. And for the premium version of PDZ Link, we have UVC auto switch. Later on, we're going to demo this. Okay, so let's move on. So this is what we are doing now. Okay, so this is from the first I view of this. We have uh, installed like one RMCG microphone on ceiling here. Then I'm sitting here, and the Kiki is sitting there. Logan's sitting here, right? And then we have the front camera PDC330, then back camera. We have PDC310, two cameras with one microphone. And then this is a whiteboard. Okay, so kind of uh, use the effects to the like intelligent, like this auto setting of the uh, Yamaha system. It's pretty easy to set up this. All right, and also here we have the speaker here to hear the far end voice from the audience. All right, it's quite simple and easy. We can just connect with a one USB cable to our computer, then this signal process can uh, transfer Dante audio uh, network signal into a uh, like virtual UAC signal to our laptop. So our like conferencing software can use this uh, UAC signal. Easy way to set up this uh, signal process. Let's just easily connect the one micro type B USB cable from the um, front uh, from interface and can directly connect to our laptop. Then we just open up our like Chrome browser and type in this IP address 172.16.0.1 and then we get easily access to this signal processor. Right? 
And there's another set, a second method that we can also install RN device finder. This software is free software. It will automatically search the Yamaha, the Yamaha devices and the same network. Then here we can find like RMCG uh, and also RMCR on the network. And uh, automatically you will find the IP address and MAC address here. And also from this software, we can update uh, these two devices. Easy to use. Then let's kick off with the Yamaha RMCR. And so everything we can set up just from the uh, web browser and the web UI. Then there is an auto setup function, just one click. And then it will automatically set up everything that we, we need until we see the well done message pop up. And then we will have a PDZ link set up. Then we can check this which channel was triggered by this microphone with PDZ link software. And then pair different channels on the microphone to dedicate a preset position on different cameras with different groups. Then we've got to go to camera and set up all the preset positions. Then we go to Teams, Microsoft Teams, to select every virtual camera as the main camera to see the tracking view. All right, so let's have a demo of like this. All right, so firstly, I'll, that's, we'll just log into the Yamaha RMCR. Uh, the signal processor here, easy. We can use the auto uh, auto setup here. All right, it's pretty simple, uh, but I have already set it up. Okay, so after all set up, then also we can check the microphone. And check like everything just goes uh, well. And then, OK, we can just go to our PTZ link uh, software here. And then we can add devices at different and add more groups here. We can set up the IP, uh, IP cameras or with our premium version USB camera. And here I have already set up two groups. So the first one is the PTZ330 USB camera and paired to the um, RMCG, Yamaha RMCG microphones with like eight channels. I can name it and save it. And second one, we have PTZ310 UN camera, which is 4K camera and behind and to capture some positions and also for auto tracking, AI auto tracking. And here we also pair it to the same microphone, Yamaha microphone, name it as like a rear camera here, right? Have all this set up. Okay, and then we can, we need to check the channels. So here I just enable this group. All right, so now I, I'm trying to talk. So to check, OK, so now I'm talking. Now channel six is triggered from the microphone. So I need to go to set up the uh, channel six paired to a preset to a camera. So here I paired to preset six. All right, and then I'm going to check uh, Kiki. Yeah, so, say so testing, I should be at uh, preset one uh, versus the channel one of the microphone. OK, so. All right, so now I'm going to check uh, the position of uh, Logan. Say something. OK, this is Logan in the position checking number two. Great. So now we have uh, three people uh, sitting in different positions. They all. Uh, paired to the dedicated channel on RMCG microphone. So I will set up three preset positions on two channels. Then here I would set up like three preset positions here. 
Uh, so I'm going to this is a PTZ 330 camera uh, web interface. I think just set up like a preset position. So here, for example, I set up like a preset one for Kiki's uh, position and preset two for Logan. All right, and I go to the second camera. This is the PTZ 310 AI auto tracking camera. So I'm going to set up preset two. Oh, no, sorry, preset six. I'll say preset six position. Uh, so I'm speaking, this is area. It's the dedicated area, right? So I set up preset six. And also for like an overview, I could also set up like a preset zero just for the overview. Yeah. And you can set up a timing, um, time, um, timer, a time calculator. Then after like a few seconds, well, nobody's speaking, they will go back to preset zero. OK, so after that, I can uh, enable these cameras, these groups. And before that, I will go to the uh, Teams, uh, the Teams conferencing software. Here, I will select uh, device settings here. And audio, I will select the RMCR. RMCR, RMCR and check all were, are set up properly. And I'll go to video setting here. I select, I will select the Aver virtual camera. So the software will automatically, the P-Link automatically generate a virtual camera feed for the conference software to select. Now I can enable these two groups, right? So let's check it. OK. So now the camera is moving on to me, on me. Right, perfectly. OK, so now please kick it. Yeah, so if if I start to talk, um, so because I am at channel one, which I pair up to uh, camera preset one, actually I'm using another PDZ camera because we have two cameras. Uh, one at the front, another one at the back. So once I speak, the camera will switch at me. So if I have another person to speak, Logan. Okay, I'm in the channel two and uh, sharing the same microphone with the Kiki. So if the voice detects and the camera will switch to me. Yeah, perfect. So now Paul is speaking. There, as you can see, that's the UVC automatically switch from PTZ to PTC camera. So this is the uh, premium function on PTZ Link software. They can automatically switch uh, between different cameras and also switch between different preset positions. It's pretty useful. Okay, so this is the um, the most important voice tracking function. And then we have more settings on the software. For example, here I can set up the time uh, to, to in case that's uh, uh, some like a discussion time that people will talk. Like so, I can set like okay, we we need to talk in at least uh, more than one second, so it will trigger the camera to go to that position. Right. And also, I can set up the value for time to go back to preset zero. So if I enable this. Then I can set up a time. Okay, for example, minutes or seconds. For example, at least like after six seconds, nobody's talking. Then we'll go to preset zero. Okay. All right. And we'll move on to the next one. Is that uh, for AI auto tracking camera series, for example, PDC 300 or PDC 500 plus series? We have a bonus function. It's called that uh, we can enable AI video tracking from PDZ Link software. So all we need to do is just to connect the the channel and dedicate it to the stage area that the presenter will go on the area and then start walking in front of the whiteboard. Okay, so here I set like a preset eight. Uh, paired to channel eight direction, and then I wanted to enable presenter tracking on this channel. All right, so 
All right, so I will give it a try as I stand. I stand at preset eight, which is the um, like the um, uh, corner of my uh, whiteboard. And you will see actually right now the camera already automatically tracks on me because the human tracking embedded into the camera already started. So this is a perfect use case where one of the presenter wants to uh, stand up in front of the whiteboard and stop presentation. So when I, whenever I finish my presentation and I, I go back to my seat, which should be the channel one, and present one. So you will be noticing the camera just back to the voice tracking seamlessly. 